वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल ट्रिबल फ्री इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ के सी एल विद एन एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज के सी एल एंड अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल प्रॉब्लम अलॉन्ग विद सम रूल्स विच यू हैव टू फॉलो वेन अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सर्क्यूट इज गिवेन राइट so now let us see how to exactly solve that complicated circuit so before getting into the video i would recommend you to watch my previous video where i explain about the rules let us quickly revise those rules first one is identify all the branches so sorry first step you have to identify all the junctions next you have to assume the initial voltage v not which is equal to 0 then you have to assume the unknown current directions and form kcl equations unknown current directions in the sense if the direction of the current is not given in the question in the circuit diagram you have to assume by yourself and it is always better to assume all the unknown currents in one direction only so that there will be no confusion okay so i'll explain you again with this um problem step by step or uh, don't worry okay so first what you have to do identify all the junctions so here you have to identify all the junctions what do you mean by junction a place where three or more branches will connect right so what here only two branches are connecting so this is not a junction exactly so here also only two branches are connecting guys look at here here three branches are connecting 1 2 3 so let us identify this as junction a and here also three branches are connecting 1 2 3 so let us identify this as junction b okay now we have to assume the initial voltage v not is equal to 0 volts so we have assumed initial voltage v not which is equal to 0 volts okay and assume all the unknown currents in the outgoing direction as i told it is always better to assume all the unknown currents in the same direction whether it could be incoming direction or outgoing direction okay so now we have i1 i2 i3 and i4 i5 i6 right now assume all the currents in outgoing direction that means i1 is going out i2 is also going out i3 is also going out here i4 is going out i5 is also going out and i6 is also going out let us assume okay now we have to apply kcl at each junction now okay what what does kcl say the sum of currents all the currents at a junction is equal to 0 so we have to as apply kcl at both junction a and junction b also so now let us apply kcl first at junction so a let me tell you the question properly find the current in 3 ohms resistor using kcl where is the 3 ohms resistor the 3 ohms resistor is over here okay so you have to find out the current in 3 ohms resistor that is i2 you have to find out using kcl so that means you have to find out the value of i2 let us form equations and then from those equations let us try to find out the value of i2 okay so let us do this wait so this is the circuit diagram okay and i'm i am going to form the uh, kcl equation over here okay so at junction a sum of i should be equal to 0 right what is i from ohm's law from what does ohm's law say v is equal to i into r right from that you can write i is equal to v by r correct now let us apply the same concept here how do you write i1 i2 i3 every current is going in outwards direction only right so you can simply write i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 since every current is going in the same direction you can write i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 directly now how do you write, express i1 so in i1 how many branches are there 1 2 3 right sorry not in i1 in junction a okay you can assume it as va the potential difference over here as va and the potential difference over here as vb like that you can assume in for va i mean at junction a i1 i2 i3 first let us write a equation for i1 so you go like this right you have to find out the 
first what you have to find out all the potential differences associated over here first what is there here va okay current always flows from higher potential to lower potential so you will take va as positive only okay because current is going from here right here like this it is going so you will take va as positive only why because current will always travel from higher potential to lower potential that means va is at what higher potential only next va minus what do we have here For, let us take this um, one later now what do we have here 6 volts 6 is coming from positive to negative that is 6 is also coming from positive i mean higher voltage to lower voltage it is coming right so it is coming to towards the lower potential since, since it is coming towards the lower potential you will take minus 6 and here also from higher potential to lower potential since it is coming whatever are on the lower potentials they will be taken as negative only so minus v naught divided by what is the resistance 6 so this is the equation for i1 in the same way form an equation for i2 i2 how you can write where is i2 here okay so again for i2 also va va obviously positive only because current always flows from higher potential to lower potential minus do you have any other voltage over here no you have v naught v naught again since v naught is on the lower potential you will write minus v naught divided by what is the resistance here 3 ohms okay v by r right next form an equation for i3 in the same way so i3 is over here i3 is flowing from see here i3 is starting at va so va will be positive because current flows from higher potential to lower potential va is on the higher potential side you will take va as positive only next here it is going towards vb right so that means vb is on what lower potential side so you will take minus vb then what sign will you give to 5 see forget about higher potential lower of course it is going from higher potential to lower potential only but here what is happening this is the negative and this is the positive sign right so it is going from negatives to positive that is lower to higher that means it will be taken as plus 5 okay here what is happening positive to negative okay here also it is coming from positive to negative right so that is why since here it is going from negative to positive you will be taking it as plus 5 okay and next what is the uh, resistance associated with i3 2 ohms divided by 2 so this is the equation that you have formed at junction a in the same way form an equation for currents at junction b also okay so let us do it here at junction b so at junction b what currents are there i4 i5 i6 so and again every current is going in the opposite in the i mean outwards that is every current is going in the same direction only right i4 plus i5 plus i6 is equal to zero so this is the case here over here for example here instead of i5 coming outside if it is going inside then you will take i5 as minus and these two as positives or i4 and i6 as negatives and i5 as positive that means opposite sign you will take but since every current is going in the op in the same outward direction you will be taking it as i4 plus i5 plus i6 is equal to zero okay now how do you express i4 as see i just i4 the direction of i4 is like this right it is going from vb to va that means vb is at higher potential this time vb minus va and in between it is going from positive to negative that means phi also will have negative sign okay so what is the uh, resistance associated here 2 ohms divided by 2 next i phi so where is i phi here again i4 is here uh, sorry vb is here it is flowing from vb to v naught that is higher potential to lower potential it means what you will write vb minus v naught divided by what is the voltage associated 4 ohms next 
i6 is equal to i6 is here so i6 it is vb it is going from vb right that means vb is at higher potential by default so you will be writing vb on a positive side only okay next vb and how it is going like this right so it is coming from positive to negative positive to negative means what minus i mean higher potential to lower potential right so you will take it as minus 10 only minus again higher potential to lower potential as always you will take it as v naught divided by what is the resistance associated 4 ohms okay no confusion guys very 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 simple higher potential whenever current is current always flows from higher potential to lower potential so whichever voltage is on the higher potential you take it as positive and whichever voltages are on the lower potential you take them as negatives and in the diagram, if this sign itself shows, then I3, it is coming from here, right? So coming from here, positive to negative, that is why we took plus 5. And coming to I4, it is coming from here, that is positive, positive to negative, it is coming again, right? That is why we took minus 4. Okay, no confusion. Now let us form equations, let us solve those equations and let us see what we will be getting for VA and VB. And then let us find out the current in this 3 ohms resistor our what is our question find the sorry find the current in 3 ohms resistor using kcl so what is the current in what is the current associated with this 3 ohms resistor i2 that means you have to find out i2 okay that means you have to find out this thing in order to get this thing what do you need you need va and v0 v0 is already equal to 0 right so that means you need to find out the value of va now okay so according to kcl at junction A, I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Right? That means VA minus 6 minus V0 divided by 6 plus I2 which is VA minus V0 divided by 3 plus I3 which is uh, VA minus VB plus 5 divided by 2 is equal to 0. When you take LCM, what do you get? You get 6 in the denominator. Here, VA minus v naught minus 6 plus 3 times 2 is 6 so this times also 2 you have to do right so 2 v a minus 2 v naught plus 2 times 3 so this times also 3 you have to do which means 3 v a minus 3 v b plus 15 is equal to 0 so 6 you send that side it will become 0 anyways so here v a 2 v a 3 v a it will become what 6 VA minus V naught minus 2 V naught you will get minus 3 V naught anyways V naught is sorry I'm sorry anyways V naught is equal to 0 and then VB how many you have just a minus 3 VB and uh, when you add the constants you get plus 9 is equal to 0 right so V naught anyways it is 0 so 6 VA minus 3 vb is equal to minus 9 you can write which is nothing but 2 va minus vb is equal to minus 3 when you take 3 common and divide it okay so this is the equation 1 okay now how do you get the equation 2 you get equation 2 from junction b at junction b i4 plus i5 plus i6 is equal to 0 so from here i4 i5 i6 okay let me note down those values i just folded it so that you can see it i4 is vb minus va minus 5 divided by 2 plus i5 is vb minus v0 divided by 4 plus i6 is vb minus 10 minus v0 divided by 4 is equal to 0 okay now let's again do some math you will get the LCM as 4, 2 VB minus 2 VA minus 10 plus VB minus V0 plus VB minus 10 minus V0 is equal to 0. Okay. So now what you will get from here, you will be getting 2 VB, 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 4 VB minus 2 VA um, 2 V naught 
is equal to 10 when you send this 10 to that side. So now since anyways v0 is equal to 0 you get 4vb minus 2va is equal to 10 which is nothing but 2vb minus va is equal to 5 and this is equation 2 okay. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2 from 1 and 2. So these are the two equations and if you solve these two equations you will get VA is equal to 1.333 volts and VB is equal to 5.666 volts. Okay. You can just solve these two equations by using calculator or just directly. Okay. Very simple equations, right? You just multiply this with 2 or you just multiply this with any, any anything works. So now you got the values of VA and VB. Are you done? No. What is your task? Your task is to find out I2 right so you are since your task is to find out i2 did we express i2 as we expressed i2 as va minus v0 divided by 3 right so i2 is equal to va minus v0 divided by 3 which is equal to 1.333 minus v0 is nothing but 0 divided by 3 so that means you will get i2 as 0.44 amps so i2 is equal to how much 0.44 amperes so the current flowing 3 3 ohms resistor is equal to how much 0.44 amperes okay got it guys so that's all that's all for this video um i know it's a very long video but still um i always recommend you i should have told this in the first of the video itself if you just follow along with me if you do the problem along with me then only you will understand if you just look at the video you will not understand anything okay thanks for watching the video till the end guys let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thank you so much